You're listening to the Patenting for Inventors podcast with registered patent attorney, Dr. Adam Diamond, founder of Diamond Patent Law, the number one source for securing your intellectual property needs. Now, here's your host, Adam Diamond. Hello and welcome to the Patenting for Inventors podcast, episode 126. What is the Fast Track Appeals Pilot Program? My name is Adam Diamond a registered patent attorney and founder and owner of Diamond Patent Law in Los Angeles, California. I can be contacted through my website at diamondpatentlaw.com. That's D-I-A-M-E-N-T patentlaw.com or call me at 424-281-0162. In today's episode, I'm going to talk about the Fast Track Appeals Pilot Program. The Patent Office has these pilot programs that it sets up to test out certain procedures, and sometimes they become permanent, and sometimes they just keep extending the pilot program over and over again. I'll often get asked by clients how long something is going to take at the Patent Office, and depending on what it is, it could take a really long time, and they ask me if there's any way they could speed it up, and oftentimes, the answer is money. The patent office loves money. They will bump up your application to the front of the line for more money. They'll extend deadlines for more money. Money can't do everything, but it can do a lot. Now, here's a pilot program called the Fast Track Appeals Pilot Program. So what does this mean and what would it be used for? First, you have to know what an appeal is and why you would appeal. Go back and listen to episode 64 to get the basics on appeals. Basically, what happens is that you filed a patent application. The patent examiner rejected it because it's usually not new or obvious. You make your arguments against the examiner, and then you get a final rejection. Uh, There's lots of things to do after a final rejection, but one of the things you can do is appeal the decision. This takes it out of the examiner's hands and gets some new eyes on your application through the Patent Trials and Appeals Board. Maybe you think that your examiner is just being ridiculous for not allowing it, and you'll get it allowed by going around this examiner. The problem with this is that if you appeal, it can take a long time, and the latest I'm seeing is about 15 months. That's too long to wait for a lot of people, so with this program, you can pay money to get it fast-tracked. You still have to pay all of the regular appeals fees, so check out uh, those on the Patent Office website. To fast track it, you currently have to pay an extra $420 and fill out a petition, which is form PTO SB451. There's no discount for small or micro entities, and the goal is that you'll get your decision within six months. The good news is that when I look at the current stats, a decision is actually reached in about 2.2 months right now. So for $420, you might be shaving off more than a year of your patent pending status. The petition is pretty simple. It's a one-page document that you sign that just has the applicant name, title of the invention, appeal number, the filing date, and application number. There are five statements that are on there that you're certifying. Pretty simple stuff. One says that you're filing this petition. One is that an appeal is pending, which means you actually already filed the appeal and now you're just asking for it to be fast-tracked. Another statement says that you paid the petition fee. You're also stating that this appeal is not already, uh, this application is not uh, already special uh, because it's been fast tracked due to age or health. And the last one is that if an attorney is filing this, a power of an attorney has been filed. Pretty simple stuff. Then you check a box on there on whether you want an oral hearing or not. Then you sign the date uh, on the one page petition, and that's it. There are currently only 500 petitions of these allowed a year, and they split that up into 125 each quarter. And so far in the program, the maximums aren't being reached. That's really all for how to get your appeal fast-tracked. Lots of times petitions, uh, there are lots of rules on lots of other things, like number of claims, certain page limits, and stuff like that. But this is pretty much the patent office just wants your money, and they'll they'll bump it up to the front of the line. And if it's worth an extra 420 extra dollars for you to get your patent allowed uh, earlier, then you should highly consider it. I'm Adam Diamond, and until next time, keep on inventing. Thanks for listening to the Patenting for Inventors podcast. For more information and help with your own intellectual property needs, contact Adam Diamond directly by going to diamondpatentlaw.com. That's D-I-A-M-E-N-T patentlaw.com. Or click the show links to connect by phone, text, or social media. The contents of this podcast are intended for general informational purposes only. The facts of every legal matter are unique and the content of this podcast should not be construed as offering legal advice for your specific legal situation. The preceding information may be considered an attorney advertisement and does not establish any attorney-client relationship.